Hey, hi guys. Hello, hello. Are we live? Are we live? Give me a quick confirmation. I guess uh, I'm facing a little bit of issue on the technical side. A little late. Are we able to log in? Are we there? Or there is a mess up still? Good evening, good evening. Just let me know if we are live. I've been trying for quite some time. There seems to be some issue out there. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Prashant. Good evening, Rishav. Yeah, it wasn't getting streamed for some reason. Some keys were not working. Yeah. I was trying, I was trying for quite some long. Yeah. All right. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. I, I know already some of you must be waiting for quite some time. Yeah, it's all good now. Great. Great. Yeah. All right. Good evening, guys. Good evening, Kevel. Good evening, Aman. Good evening, Sartha, Parisha, Vishita is Arshita is here. All right. Great. Glad to have you guys out here. Glad to have you guys out here. Fine, so let's get started. Let's get started because we kind of already lost about five, six minutes. So, so let's get started there. Okay, contrary to what we were doing, first let me give that background quickly to you that uh, yesterday we were doing, uh, good evening everyone, good evening, good evening. Everybody, good evening. So allow me to start now. So let's get started. Then we will come back uh, and we'll exchange the greetings, etc. because we are kind of five, six minutes late because of the technical issue at my end. There were some keys on my keypad which were not functioning. The touch was there creating some problem. Yeah, fair enough. So here we go. Uh, yesterday we were discussing the Euler's number and we were also supposed to discuss the Euler's theorem yesterday itself. So, but then that did not happen. Euler's number, we stopped at the discussion of the Euler's number itself. We could not proceed to the Euler's theorem yesterday. Euler's theorem, we will Euler's theorem or Euler's theorem, whichever way you call it. Either ways, the names are fine. So, be it Euler's theorem or be it Euler's theorem. So that theorem, we will take it up on Monday. Monday, we will see because subject has been already been decided before for this particular Sunday and uh, the technical team would kind of key in that particular title uh, uh, even before we kind of finish my we finish our previous lecture, right? So therefore, they already keyed in saying that today's lecture is going to be on the pattern-based kind of numbers. Since it's been already decided, true to that lecture title, we will discuss those parameters today. Of course, we understand from the yesterday's lecture that Euler's theorem is not covered, that we are going to take it up on Monday. Okay, those who followed yesterday, is the message clear to you? It's not that we will not do Euler's theorem. We will not stop at Euler's number. We will also do that Euler's theorem based remainders, but that we will take it up on Monday just to stick to the message's title, which means lecture's title for the day. Message clear? Those who were following yesterday, I mean, if you have seen that lecture and if you are thinking that we will do Euler's theorem today, we will do it on Monday. Is this clear? Yep. Hmm. Both, both cable, both, both. We'll do algebra also, we'll do numbers also. Does that become heavy? We'll do both. Cable is asking that won't we do algebra? We'll do that also. We'll do algebra also. We'll do numbers also. Right? Mm. We'll do both. Yeah. Good. All right. Perfect. Perfect. That's in sync. So therefore, you are kind of in sync. Uh, somebody joined in, in between. Vanya has joined in. Okay. Your name looks a little new to me. So welcome. Welcome. And the uh, rest all seems to be fair now. So rest all I kind of recognize at least by names now. Yeah. Okay, Vanya is the only new name that I could kind of see here. Okay, Divya Jeet. Divya Jeet also looks a little new to me. Fair enough. Okay. How come there are more numbers today? Is it because it's a weekend? Weekend has started. Yeah, hi, hi, Divya Jeet. Yeah. So is it because of the weekend more people? I mean, like Fridays or Saturday is the weekend. So is it the weekend effect? Just trying to ask. If anybody thinks that it's a weekend effect, let me know for whom it is a weekend effect. I'm sure some of you must be following the lectures offline. Probably you would have found time to come online. Yeah. All right, Vanya. All right. All right. Ritish. All right. Yeah. Good evening. Fair enough, guys. Let's get started. Let's get started. Now I have about 45 minutes to 50 minutes left. Quickly, let me give my introduction before we start. If somebody is new here, 
and don't recognize me. This is what I am. So Belbi Srinivas and coming from the training perspective, let me quickly give a background from the trainer's perspective. Yes, I've been training students since 2007 for CAT and other management entrance exams. And typically when I meant other management entrance exams, more to do in the lines of ZAT, IFT, GMAT, less of GMAT, of course, and then a little bit of NMAT and SNAP. So that's that's what I kind of do. Uh, yes, I worked in various capacities, both in terms of management as well as in terms of training. But in that 14 years of training, I did develop some skills as to how to train people on QA, DI, and DLR. So that's that's that little bit about me. Yeah, if you want to, uh, if you want to interface with me for start counseling, there is no underscore here. It's continuous. Belvi Srinivasan Academy. You can use this Telegram channel for short counselings or short suggestions. You can always reach out to me here. Right? This is what we can do. Let's start with the subject first. All right? Then I will come to the announcements because we kind of lost some time. Let's let's get on to the subject. We told. Let me quickly remind you where am I today? Right? So I said that in the numbers. All right? In when it comes to remainders, three types of ways the numbers are represented. Right, one way of representing the number is yeah, exponential number a raised to power b. So maybe plus minus all of that will be there in a sense. Hey, it is something like we already seen is 23 raised to power 89 when divided by some divisor. So technically, this is my number which mind can never understand. That's point number one. So in this, in this, we already observed the pattern, the preferred numbers, what kind of pattern, the preferred number one or minus one preferred remainder or two or minus two, something like this. That's what we spoke. We also spoke about the Fermat's theorem here. The Euler's theorem is another parameter which is left to solve the questions a little faster, but we'll come back to that. So therefore, that head is not complete. Today, I'm coming into the second head, second parameter. This is more. More questions come from here. More often, the questions come from this particular place. Uh, somebody saying that my voice is too low. Uh, Joy Deep is saying, is the audio clear, friends? Is the audio clear or is there a problem with my audio? Others, can somebody confirm? Joydeep Das is saying that my voice is too low. Is the audio good? From my end, is the audio good? Would somebody quickly confirm? It's fine. Joydeep, please check it at your end. Probably you might have kept the volume low. You please sound do the sound check. Now it's perfect. Yeah, fair enough. Good. Thank you. All right. Let's carry on. <coughs> let's carry on. Today we are doing the second type. Yeah, what is the second type? Something like digits A, B, C, Z is it okay? Let me write a number itself. So A, B, C, A, B, C, whatever. Two digit, one digit doesn't matter. Like this, you will have some 1000 digits. All right, 1000 digits. Now this divided by some divisor. Now again, now 1000 digit, we don't know what to call it, right? Some nine digit, 10 digit, 12 digit, and all we know how to call it. So beyond certain things, we don't know what to call it. Thousand digit number, how should I pronounce it? We can't even do that. So that is what we are doing today. This is the today's syllabus. How to deal with this is the today's syllabus. Now, before we do that, let me caution you. So it is the function of remainder. It is never look at the number. We'll never get look at the number and get scared of it. So we will always look at the divisor. Am I some um, uh, is divisor making some sense to me, right? So we will always look at the divisor and make a decision how difficult the question is or how time consuming it can become. All the decision is kind of made by looking at the divisor. Fair enough. So whenever they give these kind of numbers, what are the divisors? So like what are the kind of divisors? One, the divisor can be something like 32. The divisor can be something like 625. Right, the divisor can be something like I'm, I'm just randomly writing some divisors. All right, yeah. So let, let's say these two are good examples there. Okay, you may say that, sir. You, I'll write a number. Listen to me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like this. I wrote a number. All right, which has some six hundred digits. Let's say. All right, all right. Let's say the three hundred digit. This particular number has three hundred digits. This has some three hundred digits. I say that. Okay, why don't you divide this by six twenty five and tell me the remainder? Fair enough. So what are the last three digits of this number? One, two, three. What are the second, the numbers before that? One, two, three. Dot, dot, dot. 300 digits are there, which means this one, two, three, one, two, three. I would have written 100 times. When I want to divide this by 625, what does it simply say? What is the divisible rule for 625? This is 5 power 4, therefore last four digits. Right? This is last four digits. Correct? Yeah. This is going to be last four digits. That is one time. So last four digits means what? Hey, all these digits doesn't matter. What matters is 3125. I would have simply taken 3125. I will divide this by 625. Sorry, 3123. I will divide this by this and I will tell the remainder. Now, this is called as level 0 or level 1 questions, which means if I give ABC, ABC, ABC like this, and if I ask you to divide this by 32 and tell me the remainder, if I ask you to divide by 625 and tell me the remainder, it is nothing but the simple divisibility rule. This can come in SNAP also. This can come in NMAT also. Anywhere this can come. This becomes a level 0 or 
level one, which means basic level. When this kind of question come, we call it as a basic level. Fair enough. So I'm not touching this. I'm saying that this is taken for granted. We know how to deal with this level one kind of questions. If you don't know, when I do for CAT 22, you attend that, right? So it's so CAT 21, I will not do that. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, let's go to the next level. What is that there for? Now I will take a look at this particular question. Now I will be talking about before even I get into the actual CAT, right? Let's put the foundation in place, all right? For the next 10, 15 minutes, we'll put the foundation in place. Then we'll be in a position to handle this. So what are my divisors looking like? My divisors will technically be of the form 10 raised to power n plus or minus 1. These are the divisors I'm talking about, right? So that's the next level, which means first level is divided by 32, divided by 625, divided by 16, uh, all that. That's the first level. What is the next level, second level? The second level is your divisors are 10 raised to power n plus or minus 1. It appears like this. This is how my divisors are going to look like. Okay, what are the numbers there for? 9. If you look at 10 raised to power n minus 1 series or 10 raised to power n plus 1 series, you say that put n is equal to 1. If I put n is equal to 1, I get 9 here. I get 11 here. Put n is equal to 2. All right, two columns I'm creating. Put n is equal to 2. You get, uh, you, all right, you get 99 here and you get 101 here. Right? Okay. Put n is equal to 3. You get 999 here and you get 1001 here. Like this, you can keep putting it. But what are the most preferred numbers between this? The most preferred numbers are 999 and 1001. These are the two very preferred numbers by the author. They will ask us something divided by this or something divided by this. And they will not ask directly 999 or 1001 also. But we will start there. When they ask by 999 or 1001, it becomes a level 1 question. I will call it as a level 1 question. Then what is level 2 then? The level 2 will be the factor of factor of 10 raised to power n plus or minus 1. Factors, which means the factors of triple 9 factors of triple nine or the factors of 1001 right that becomes my level two question okay what is the level three question the level three question becomes a multiple of the factor of 10 raised to power n plus or minus one it becomes a multiple of the factor of that particular number okay let me illustrate that what is the level two question so first let me examine this i want you to remember this what i'm trying now you should mug it up and you should know this it's a very special number these two are very very special number i will not waste time my friends i will not simply tell you something which is un which is not useless so i will tell some things certain things are important to remember it's better you remember thereby gets your speed and momentum okay 999 is a very special number what is this this is 37 raised to power 1 and 27 raised to power 1 what is 27 therefore you look at 999 37 raised to power 1 27 raised to power 1 is nothing but 3 raised to power 3 how many factors are there therefore number of factors of 999 is one factor one becomes two here this three becomes four here it has eight factors if you quickly un want to understand it sir what are these eight factors so eight factors can be something like this one is a factor of this number 3 is a factor of this number, 9 is a factor of this number, 27 is a factor of this number, 37 is a factor of this number, triple 1 is a factor of this number, triple 3 is a factor of this number, and triple 9 is a factor of this number. Okay, these are the 8 factors of this number. Now, 1. So, when they ask by triple 9, everybody would recognize. If I ask you the same question, I'll give a question and say that divide by 37 and tell me the answer. Everybody will leave that question because they don't understand. What is 37, man? How on earth I will divide by 37? It's a prime number. I don't even know what is 37 into 2 with some difficulty that will come 37 into 3 37 into 4 how on earth i'm going to divide by 37 some people they don't know how to divide by 29 divisible to rule for nine people will know some of the digits of the number divisible to rule for three people will know some of the digits of the number divisible to rule for 27 i and you don't know but today we will know all right today we will know how to deal with this they give 27 in the exam they don't give three they don't give nine they give 27 that's when it becomes the level two question what are these hey what is this 27 they ask what is this 37 they ask these are the two favorite numbers of the examiners what does it mean these are nothing but the factors of 10 raised to power n plus or minus one here the factors here comes the story of 27 and 37 and so on that's number one Number two, another important thing you should remember, this 1001, the story of 1001, I already told you once, but today, because I'm doing the applications, therefore, you should know, 1001 is nothing but 7 power 1 and 11 power 1 and 13 power 1. 13 power 1. So, therefore, again, it has 8 factors, right? So, because number of factors of 1001, when you write it, factors of 1001, this is 2, this would become 2. All of you know how to count the factors? That I'm not going to teach now. That's another study. Factors, when I study, I will tell you all it about the story behind the factors. So what are the applications based on that? We will examine that in the next week if you want. 
2 into 2 into 2 it has 8 factors fair enough hey what are the 8 factors of this particular number 1 is a factor 7 is a factor 11 is a factor 13 is a factor right these are the factors then you have 77 is the factor then 140 uh, so 91 is the factor 143 is the factor right likewise all right now finally you would have 1001 as the factor these are the eight factors now this is the study we were doing assume that if somebody gives the division by 13 they will leave that question if i give the 300 digit number you divide by 13 people don't know people know the divisibility for 11 7 they don't know 13 they don't know today we will get to know 7 13 no big deal about it if you have a big number divisible by 7 it's a piece of cake easily we will do it why because 1001 is the parent of these numbers we will understand it 7 13 91 these are the three all right now this one these are the four examiners favorite number sometimes they will tease us they will just give 7 and they'll say that you answer it man let's see sometimes they give 13 sometimes they give 91 sometimes they give 143 okay now this slide is very very important what are my important numbers my important numbers are 999 is an important number 1001 is an important number coming to the 999 under 999 27 is an important number and 37 under this under this 27 and 37 are important numbers under this again there are three or four important numbers 7 is an important number 13 is an important number 91 is an important number 143 is an important number okay i have not got into the problem i gave the background are you at least understood that which are the important numbers now take these important numbers do what we will see but at least you are clear with this this premise is clear everybody can you give a quick confirmation that this premise is clear why i tried to tell them important or at least understood okay these numbers i should be mindful about that much you are clear put it in the chat what numbers i should be mindful of at least you are clear about the things what you should be mindful of then we will see okay i am now mindful of therefore what i should do that's the next thing okay being mindful what should we do okay yeah yeah good all right fine so let's think that so let's now go back to some of these numbers let me start here let me illustrate from 99 and 101 and then let me go back to triple nine one thousand one all of that right so then all right now then we will go better good good nice acknowledgement pretty good super Super. All right. Now let's go in here. Let me take a simple question here to start with and understand this once very clearly. Visualize this because once you visualize, whatever be the magnitude of the problem, that won't trouble you. If you don't visualize, if you fail to visualize a small problem, when the big becomes magnitude, it becomes big, then we are kind of lost. The control is kind of lost in the mind. Right. So likewise, so I've taken a simple number to start with. It's an illustration of how, how it is working out. What is the undercurrent? How this entire thing 10 power n. Now look at this 99. This 99 is nothing but 10 power 2 minus 1. So we are into the same study that we are trying to do. 10 power 2 minus 1. Fair enough. So now let's see this. What do I do? This number I said that divide this by 99. Why 10 power 2? Why I am talking about 10 power n minus 1 or plus 1 story? It will be clear now. With this example, it would be clear. Understand this carefully. Okay. Now let me rewrite this question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 can be written as observe this. It can also be written as let me illustrate the concept clearly can also be written as 12 double zero double zero double zero plus 34 double zero double zero i'm writing one two three four five six seven eight it's an eight digit number eight digit number can also be written like this right and another plus five six double zero another plus seven eight you add up all these pink color ones you add up that becomes one two three four five six seven eight okay so how can I write this therefore? This can be written as 12 into 100 raised to power 3. You may wonder, sir, where is this 100 raised to power 3? Double zero, that's 100, second 100 and third 100. Therefore, I can write it as 100 raised to power 3. So now I am adding this to plus. What is this here, man? This is 34 into 100 raised to power 2. 100 raised to power 2. This is double zero and double zero. Now I have to add this to what? 56 into 100 raised to power 1 because there is only 100 then what 78 into nothing 78 into 100 raised to power 0 nothing but 78 which implies i can write this particular number author said that hey why don't you divide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 why don't you divide this by 99 in my mind this number is also nothing but 12 into 100 raised to power 3 100 raised to power 3 plus 34 into 100 raised to power 2 just visualize this one plus you say that 56 into 100 raised to power 1 plus 78 it is the same number i said that okay why don't you divide this by 99 we know that all that isolation technique we already know i will divide this by 99 
I will divide this by 99. I will divide this by 99. I will divide this by 99. Whole thing divided by 99, I can split. Divide and rule policy. Fair enough. So now I can further divide also. This much we already know from our basic understanding properties of properties. First numbers one. Properties when I spoke. This 99 can also be written as this by 99 and this by 99. This by 19, what is this isolation technique? The very first property we spoke about, isolation 99, this by 99, this also by 99, this also by 99, isolation. In our mind, we kind of isolate the things out there, okay? 12 divided by 99, what is the remainder? 12 is the remainder. Now, what is all it? Now, look at this, 100 when divided by 99, the remainder is 1. Therefore, 100 cube divided by 99, remainder becomes 1 cube. Therefore, from here, the remainder is 1. Okay, from here the remainder is 1 plus, where is that plus? This plus. Now 34 divided by, from here, 34 divided by 99, 34. 100 square divided by 99, 1 square, therefore that would become 1. Next number 56 into 1. Next number simply 78. Fair enough. So now this is what I get there. So which implies what? Now just add them. 12 plus 34 plus 56 plus 78. Okay, that has become 180. Just add up these numbers. It is 180. Is 180 my answer? No, because your divisor is 99. How 180 would be your remainder? So I will divide this by 99 once again. I will say that 81 is my answer. Okay, what is that I'm trying to tell? Listen very, very carefully on this. Because it is a 10 power n, I made the groups of this 10 power because my 99 is 10 power 2 minus 1. Because it is 10 power 2 minus 1, I made the groups of 10 power 2. You may say, where are 10 power 2? This is 100. 100 is 10 power 2. This 100 is 10 power 2. I made the further groups of 10 power 2. That is the concept. If you ask me what is the concept, hey, why we were saying that look at the divisors of the form 10 raised to power n plus or minus 1, which implies you make the groups of 10 power n. That is what I did. This 100 was 10 power 2. This 100 was 10 power 2. It can have further power, but we are trying to make the powers of this 100. Fair enough. So far, it should be clear to you. So far, it should be clear to you. Now, coming back to this. So, how do I solve this particular question? Listen carefully. That's the undercurrent. 81, we got the answer. Okay. Now, should we write all of this? Of course not. This is an explanation. Now, how we write? Having understood this, how do I write? Listen to me very carefully. If you have the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I said that why don't you divide this by 99? Take a look at this 99. This 99 is 10 power 2 minus 1. If it says 10 power 2, make the groups of 2. Look at this 2. Look at this 2 power. All right. This 2, make the groups of 2. What do you mean by make the groups of 2? Start making the groups from the right hand side right hand side from the units place from the units place not from any place which we don't know it you always start from the units place make the groups of twos you may wonder why make the groups of two because the power is two 99 can be written as 10 power 2 minus 1 make the groups of two 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 numbers all right from here two numbers make that group again count another two numbers make that group again count this side another two numbers make that group again count this side and make that group fair enough you made the groups again first group is always positive all right, first group, the sign of the first group is always positive. It is always positive. Okay, that is positive. And if the sign here is negative, listen here. If this sign is negative, then every group is positive. Counterpart, counterpart, take the counterpart. If the sign here, if it is 10 raised to power 2 minus 1, then every group is going to be positive. In the sense, first group by default, it is positive. And now I come back and look at the sign. My 99 is 10 raised to power 2 minus 1. Therefore, you are looking at the minus sign. And every other group is going to be positive okay did i get the same thing here look at this 12 and that is the 12 that you have you have this 34 you have this 34 you have this 56 that's what you have you have this 78 that's what you precisely have okay so therefore this is the story now what you do just add up these groups one group is 12 is the value 34 value 56 is the value 78 is the value what is why you are adding the groups because the sign is plus look at the sign here plus you are saying that add these groups, you added them, it became 180. Should I call this as the answer? Of course not, because your divisor is 99. How you can tell 180 is the answer? Really resolve it. All it divide this by 99, call 81 as the answer. This is the approach. Whatever we did fundamentally, it simply boils down to this when we are trying to solve this. Tell me quickly that approach is clear. You kind of connected this. Whether you connected this or not, at least did you connect with this? Making the groups of two is clear. You look at the power 10 raised to power 2 means make the groups of 2. From which side make the groups of 2? From the right hand side. Clear? Clear? Concept clear? I illustrated the concept. Were you able to visualize this? Vanya, which rule you are saying? Explain the rule. Which rule? 
which rule i should explain okay fair enough now listen listen to the other side of the story listen guys listen everybody listen listen everybody guys if somebody here is confused with what properties please watch the remainders one lecture please watch the first lecture of the remainders first lecture under cat ninjas label right go to cat ninjas 1.0 right and you can also put my name belvi there look go through this particular channel cat ninjas 1.0 go to this remainders one lecture the properties what we discussed there are very very important those properties are very very important without that we can't do anything on the remainders that there are three to four properties we discussed that has to be crystal clear to everyone okay fair enough if not all right after this lecture please go to that channel and watch that so how to get that channel go to the description of this link just go to the description of this link in the description of this you will find the channel i don't have to spoon food you spoon feed you right so we are all grown up we don't have to spoon spoon feed each other right so you go to the channel you go to the description you will find that channel click on that channel all the lectures will come all right then you can take it up okay great all right so there we go <coughs> all right so now let's that's right okay now let me come in here let me come in here let's take the other side of it hey what about the same question what is the same question instead of 99 listen to the story friends one part of the story is done let's go to the second side of the story instead of this 99 what if this particular number was 101 fair enough what is 101 101 101 is nothing but 10 power 2 plus 1 10 power 2 plus 1 means still you got to make the groups of twos i would have worked on this number pretty much similar i'm just changing the numbers in the denominator listen carefully i'm just changing the numbers in the denominator what is that i said that hey, why don't you divide this particular number by 101 101 this is 101 so you divide this by 101 this is 101 this is 101 this is 101 isolation technique of isolation that's what you are doing there fair enough so therefore what you do from here you say that 78 is the remainder now look at this when a 100 is divided by 101 what is the preferred remainder minus 1 i will not write 100 100 as the remainder i would rather write minus 1 as the remainder therefore i will write minus 1 here i will write minus 1 then this 56 divided by 101 i will retain it as 56 because i am not getting preferred remainders 1 2 3 4 are preferred remainders not beyond that beyond that i will not prefer because that doesn't make too much or that doesn't add too much value to me okay plus now 100 square so here the next one 100 square when a 100 is divided by 101 the remainder is minus 1 when a 100 square is divided remainder will be minus 1 square what is minus 1 square minus 1 square is 1 therefore from here i would write it as 1 and this yields me 34 as it is then a plus sign a hey, what about 100 cube all right if it is 100 yields a remainder of minus 1 100 cube will yield a remainder of minus 1 cube which will be back to minus 1 again therefore this is minus 1 and this yields me the result of 1 so what you are trying to say therefore 12 into minus 1 minus 12 plus 34 into 1 this is 34 25 minus 1 minus 56 right and then 78 as it is now what you are trying to say alternate there is a plus minus again there is a plus and there is a minus alternate plus minus plus minus that's what we are supposed to be doing here so here i go So if this number was 101, divide this by 101. You look at this sign. This sign would now become plus. Got it? That's how you express that 101. 10 square plus one. First group by default is positive. First group by default is positive. Alternate group. Now look here. If the sign is positive, think of its counterpart. Counterpart is what? Negative. Think of that. Negative. Alternate it. This is positive and this is negative. Precisely do that. All right. Now therefore, all right. The answer for this question. precisely do that 78 76 the gap here is plus 22 the gap between these numbers is plus 22 the answer is 44 so is this 44 less than 1 hour 901 of course yes therefore this becomes my answer is this clear my friends is this clear the story of 10 raised to power n plus or minus 1 is clear if the divisor is of this particular pattern easy question we just have to know that how to what is the concept behind those questions shall we now look at the application this is the concept these are not exam questions i only illustrated the concept if the concept is clear application hardly takes any time application hardly takes any time we'll come to it kevel we'll come to it we'll come to it wait when the problem has just started why do you bother hang on hang on you know that right i will cover everything and you are behaving as if you are attending the first lecture of me huh how patience how patience allow me to cover i only tell the told the concept i just started what do you bother respond kevel 
clear knowing you should not ask this question right hmm. you should know you should predictable right behaviors are predictable you understand some behaviors you know some people right ha huh. so predictability we should know so why question so when you predict you should know at the end of the lecture you should ask sir i was expecting this why did they happen then i will explain why it did not happen yeah one let's come to this five six seven eight nine i know this question comes i already printed this for you yeah so this is how it looks let's say that hey there are nine digits 101 there are nine digits 101 so what happens there make the groups of two why 101 is still 10 raised to power 2 plus 1 so therefore the groups of two should be still two only fair enough so therefore from where i should start from here you should start you should always start from the units place the grouping should happen from the units place groups of what two at a time first make the groups this is group of two this is group of two this is group of two now the problem comes oh only one is left now what one means right zero one you really want to two two digits there write it as zero one and visualize it otherwise also it's fine how does it matter if one is left one is left no 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 i still want to see two digits there then prefix is zero then it looks consistent but really doesn't matter does it look consistent or not it doesn't hamper my answer right yeah so first group always positive because this is positive use its counterpart next group negative next group positive next group negative next group positive right this is what you kind of get out there all right so now just that add all the positive numbers there already 89 45 and 1 all right which becomes 135 23 plus 67 all right that would become 90 therefore your answer would become 45 this is the answer these are the positive values these are the negative values your answer becomes 45 comfortable everybody clear about this all good all good so don't worry in case some digits are less or more don't worry about it don't worry you carry out your procedure assume that if you want to make it appear consistent you can add those zeros there that's that's it that's it that's a consistent if you want to appear it to be consistent otherwise don't worry about it don't worry whether it looks consistent or not don't worry okay good all right yeah so therefore let me quickly summarize this let me summarize and then we will do the applications let's summarize and go on to the application what i meant i meant this hey if it is 10 raised to power 2 my other uh, if it if the number is 99 so 99 101 triple 9 and 1001 okay i need to reach here these are my important numbers not 99 and 101 yeah those numbers may be important when it comes to snap or in math kind of but if you're looking at cats at ift these are the numbers and their offsprings offsprings means their factors they are very important for us not 99 and 101 fair enough anyway let's take 99 when it is 99 what we said we make the groups of twos because this is 10 power 2 minus 1 make g2 what is g2 groups of two. all right so when this is your dollar now g2 and all plus signs all signs are plus g2 plus all it now this one so g2 alternate signs plus minus plus minus kind of that's how the pattern should kind of go what about 999 this is 10 power 3 plus minus 1 10 power 3 minus 1 which means what hey make the groups of threes and all groups would have a positive sign every single group would have a positive sign hey what about 1001 this is 10 raised to power 3 plus 1 so again make the groups of 3 why 3 because it's a 10 power 3 make the groups of 3 so first group positive remaining groups negative positive negative alternate sign that sends the perspective what i'm trying to say i think only in one of the years in only one of the years from 1992 onwards so far in cat zat whatever it is whatever the papers i have seen only one time i have seen the number this only one time i have seen this otherwise i have not seen this number only once probably i might have skipped also but it might have come another time i'm not sure but as far as i remember only one time i have seen this number but it's okay if we know how to handle this make what make the groups of four that's it make the groups of four and attack that particular question fair enough that's the background all right that's the background now let's open up to the application let's now go to the application yeah let's now go to the application here we go let's take up one of these examples do this example with me everybody do this example with me do it with me and then we will kind of proceed from here Hey, what is this number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like this, there are 600 digits in this number. So when this is divided by triple 9, what is the answer? Right? So what is the answer when it is divided by triple 9? Fair enough. How do we start? We start it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Dot, dot, dot. Towards the end, what I get is little more important to me because my grouping starts towards the end. Assume that this is towards the end. This is my 600th digit. This is my 600 digit. This is 599th digit. This is 598th digit. Like this, this is my first digit. 
this is my first digit let's assume something like this okay so i my pro preference is what nine divisor is the key the, i always look at the divisor divisor is the key this is what 10 raised to power 3 minus 1 to so make the groups of three therefore you say that this is one group this is the second group this is the third group this is the fourth group you are making the groups here this is the first group this is the second group this is the third group this is the fourth group like this hey, how many groups i will make or how many groups i would have made here 200 groups you may wonder sir how do you know there are 200 groups here simple i have 600 digits i have 600 i have 600 digits how many digits are there in a group three digits per group three digits per group right 600 divided by three so therefore i know that there are 200 groups because there are three digits per group so therefore there are 200 groups fair enough so what about the sign first group will always have the positive sign so i told you this is first group now look at the counterpart here this is Paul negative therefore every group would have a positive sign simply write every group a positive sign fair enough but then what are the group what is the size of the group there are 100 groups with the size 456 there would be 100 groups there would be 100 groups whose value is 456 because you said that totally there are 200 groups out of 200 groups there would be 100 groups whose value is 456 and there would be another 100 groups whose value is going to be 123 naturally because alternate 456 123 456 123 therefore you say that man there are another 100 groups whose value is 123 first let me add them this has become 6 7 other this has become 6 5 7 9 this is 579 how many groups of 579 100 groups because this is one group one set one set is 579 100 groups therefore what is the sum therefore sum of all 200 groups the sum of all these 200 group is 57900 are you with me so far are you with me so far first problem problem looks big concept is simple problem looks big on the face of it it looks man what is these massive numbers here right problem looks big but the solution is simple concept is simple once you understand the concept method is very simple sum is 57900 i added all 200 groups after adding all 200 groups it simply becomes 57900 is that clear that's clear very good all right so this has to be divided by what triple nine I need to divide this by triple nine because triple nine is my divisor. I can't say that the five seven nine double zero is my answer. No. What is the divisibility rule for triple nine groups of threes? You may say that say the, there is the groups of three. Simple. Anything is the divisibility rule for triple nine is the groups of threes from the right hand side. Okay. This has a positive sign. This also will have a positive sign. You may say that sir, there are no three digits. Then put a zero. If you really want to see three digits, you put a zero. So okay, nine hundred plus fifty-seven, nine fifty-seven is nine fifty-seven less than triple nine. Yes, therefore this is my answer. Answer to this particular question. This huge six hundred digit number when divided by triple nine, the remainder is five hundred and ninety-seven. This is going to be the remainder. Give a quick confirmation that it is very clear to all of you. This is clear then i'm actually done i'm not saying that the class is over i'm not saying class is over i'm saying that okay concept is over if you have got the grip of this we are done it is only playing with that concept now that's it we got a kind of a grip that's all right okay titi i will answer your questions towards the end man Somebody by name Chitti Chitti has joined. I don't know whether to call you Mr. or Miss. Okay, whichever way it is. If you stay back till you stay back till the end of the lecture, you ask all these things, batch, channel, all of this. I will ask you. I will explain. Right? Welcome to the channel anyway. So I will explain you that because we are going with sudden flow. Let's go with the flow and learn that first. Okay, let's learn. And then I will take up your queries at the end of the lecture. You wait till there. You wait till there. If you have some patience, wait till there. So then I will explain that to you, right? Yeah, otherwise it will simply break the flow of thoughts, right? Yeah, okay. So here we go. Let's open up to the next question now. Let's open up to the next question. Same question, 1001. Why don't you guys do this and tell me the answer? Same question, 1001. Okay, let me open up the previous slide itself. Let me ask you because already numbers are in your mind. I will just change this to 1001. Same number, divide this by 1001 let's see what the answer looks like yeah go ahead everything is already the workout is working is in front of you working is right in front of you give me the answer quickly working is right in front use the same working give me the answer Oh, 
fast. Move your fingers fast. Always keep a book and a pen. Don't be passive onlookers. Don't keep looking at the screen. That's not the way to learn. Yeah, good, good, Kaval, good, Rishabh. Yeah, the background story remains same. The background story story remains same. Except that this I have to make minus. This is plus. This is minus. All four fifty sixes are with the plus sign, and all groups of one twenty three are with the minus sign. Therefore, this four fifty six would have a positive sign. This one twenty three would have a negative sign. Both have hundred groups. Hundred groups of positive numbers. Hundred groups of negative numbers. Therefore, you would say that three three three. This is three three three. But how many such groups are there? Hundred groups are there. Therefore, sum of all these two hundred groups is triple three followed by double zero. This double zero you will add. Why do you put double zero there? Because there are hundred groups. One set the value is three three three. You have hundred such sets. Since you have hundred such sets, you will write triple third or three three zero and then another. Uh, sorry, triple three double zero. This is what you write. Okay, so this you need to divide this by one thousand one. So what is the remainder thereby? Fair enough. So if you divide this by one thousand one, means what groups of threes? Again, cut it as a group of three. This with a positive sign. This with a negative sign. Therefore, you are saying that three hundred minus thirty three. What is three hundred minus thirty three? Two sixty seven, which is my answer. Is two sixty seven less than one thousand one? Yes. Therefore, that would that would become my answer. Making sense? Clear? Heba, yes. What you want me to ask? When you will start 2022 batch? I'll be starting next week or next to next week, Heba. I will decide that tomorrow. Okay? I will be starting either next week or next to next week. One of those weeks. Yeah, next week I'm a little held up. Therefore, next to next week I'm starting my plus batch also next to next week because I have little bit of assignments with one of the professors in IIM Bangalore. So I'm doing some work with him. So therefore, I'm a little held up the next week. Yeah. So here we go. Two hundred and sixty-seven. Comfortable, everybody. Comfortable with this question? Comfortable, everyone. Comfortable? All good. Guys, other than Kaval, Rishav, Sarthak, and Yash, is this fine? Understood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do quickly a few announcements, then we will open up to the next part. So we will take time till another 10-15 minutes and then we will do that. Yeah. So as you all of you know, an academy offers two types of subscriptions. One is a plus, the other one is a star. No, it's not star, it is technically called iconic subscription. Plus offers you the structured courses, which means the faculty will take you level 0 to level 1, level 2, level 3. All these kind of courses would be launched. Right? Sometimes they launch a level 0 course, level 1 course, level 2, level 3. When you're on the plus platform, you kind of notice all of this. And whatever makes sense to you, you can take up that particular course. In a sense, level 3 arithmetic will be there. Level 3 RCs would be there. Level 3 algebra will be there. Level 2 arithmetic can be there. Like this, different people launch different kind of courses to uh, help different kind of students, those who are there, and you can navigate through that. That's what you mean by you will have pretty structured lectures out there. So structured courses, with that structured weekly test, all that stuff. Yeah, iconic. In addition to all these structured courses, whatever the plus offers, in addition to all of this, you will get one-to-one -one interaction with the faculty member. Any any of the mentors, some one of the mentors, you will get one-to-one -one interaction, be it with respect to concept discussion, be it with respect to your doubt discussion, or B school application, or it can be your study plans. The, or it can be with respect to test improvement plan all of that all of that one-to-one -one guidance you can set up the meeting with the faculty members and you can discuss those parts right yeah and this may be especially useful to the people who are appearing for cat 21 in case you have not made the notes because writing notes is important in case you have not made a structured note suddenly you wake up and you realize that man there are so many concepts in verbal so many concepts in uh, so many concepts in lrdi so many concepts in quant i studied them but i'm not able to recall most of them that is because of poor notes taking ability so not taken the proper notes not recorded certain things now this is a quick tool which also the all the plus and iconic subs subscribers are provided the crisp coverage chapter wise and the colorful notes are given with the highlights of important methods or important concepts would be highlighted there yeah of course all of this comes with certain nominal subscription fee 
So about 16,000, 28,000, whatever is this. So yeah, this is applicable 21. This may be suitable for 22. This could be suitable for CAT 23 students. You can use any of the educator code. If you are following me, you are encouraged to use my educator code technically. Yeah, okay. You use any educator code, you will get 10% discount on your subscription. Whatever the subscription price is mentioned there, you get 10% discount on this. Same thing happens with Iconic as well. If you are CAT 21, this is the most preferred one because next three to six months, you might need quite a few people to interact with you, to speak to you. Yeah, so therefore one-to-one -one interactions will definitely make sense because next six months is very, very crucial with respect to being guided by the right kind of people. Uh, you, will, you will understand it, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so therefore one-to-one -one interactions, they do come up with certain premiums. So therefore, so that's the kind of pricing. Fair enough, let's get back to our discussion studies. Back to the studies. Let's come back to the studies. Here we come. Go ahead, guys. <coughs> yeah. Go ahead. Solve this question. Cat question. Solve this. All right, Chitty. Thank you. Thank you for this generous comment. Go ahead. Solve this. Mm, yeah. Hi, Harsh. Hi. Yeah. Solve this. Everybody solve this. How much time? I will give two minutes time. Solve this. I give the background. Solve this question. Okay, well, check your calculation. That doesn't look like the answer. Mm, all right guys do it with me what happened the number is bad so okay so this is how i can solve this listen to me very carefully listen to me everybody listen to me so one eight will be outside then i will have eight 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 then another eight 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 all right groups of threes okay why groups of threes this is 10 raised to power three minus one right likewise you would have created till the end all eight 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 right because you when you create the groups of threes all right now this is the first group this would be the second group Right. Likewise, right now, this would be the 33rd group, right? Why you are having the three digits in each group, three digits per group. Therefore, 99 is possible. 99, right? Three digits per group into 33 groups will cover 99 digits. It will cover 99 digits. So you will have one eight extra outside. Fair enough. Keep it outside. All right. Now, this is the kind of doubt what Kaval also asked in the beginning. Keep that fellow outside. So you will say that, hey, therefore, what I should do, 888, I should multiply by 33. If you don't want to multiply 888, you can write the negative remainder also. You can say that, hey, this group, I will take it as minus triple one. This group, I will take it as minus triple one. Positive remainder, one 888 is divided by 999. The remainder is 888 itself. No, 888 is a big number. We are already comfortable because you already did a couple of remainders problems with me. We use, we know that positive, negative doesn't matter. Small side is negative side is better than take it. Hey, what is the negative? Which means 888 when divided by triple nine. The negative remainder is minus triple one, minus triple one. Write it. That's also fine. 
So therefore, I can also write this minus triple one here also minus triple one and this final number becomes eight. I can also divide it like this. There is no problem. Hey, no, sir, I will take eight, eight only and I will multiply by 33. No problem. I'm trying to give a perspective. Nothing wrong in thinking about negative number. Absolutely, there is nothing wrong. It, it might save some time. The num simpler the numbers, faster it becomes. That's all the idea there. Okay, how many groups like this? 33 groups. This is group number one. This is group number two. This is group number 33. I am saying that add 33 numbers which are minus triple one. So that's what I'm asking you to add. And then finally add another 8a. Why add? Because the sign here is negative. So every group would have a positive sign. So every group would have a positive sign. This is plus. This is plus. This group is plus. This group is going to be plus. And the first group is going to be plus. All groups are going to be plus. Fair enough. Therefore, what you are trying to say? Minus 111 into 33 plus 8. This is what I should do. If the final answer is negative, then divide this by add triple 9. To this add the divisor, you will get the answer. We are already comfortable with that thought. Okay, let's do this 31 one time, 32, 33. 33 one time 33 therefore 36 another 36 you are trying to say that hey man this number is minus 3636 36. fair enough okay keep this minus sign outside take only this number 36 uh, 3663 let's take this particular number what about this 8 keep it out keep it out we'll come to that story later so this number is again there are more than 999 make the groups of 3s here this is plus and this is plus Therefore, you say that hey, this will become triple six with what negative sign? Negative sign triple six. Hey, therefore, what is the positive remainder? The positive remainder would become triple three. All right, if it is triple six, then it will become triple three. All right, why triple three? Because I add the divisor back to this. I will add the divisor. Hey, what is the divisor for this triple nine? Therefore, it has become triple three. Now come back and add this eight to this, which will become three hundred and forty-one, which is your answer. What I'm trying to say is hey, there is nothing wrong to try with this triple eight. Absolutely nothing wrong. If you feel that by using once I can do it faster, use it so that your calculation becomes faster. Why? Because we know we are comfortable with both positive and negative remainder. Only my final answer has to be positive. During the process, I use positive side or negative side. That shouldn't really matter. But final answer has to be positive. Making sense? Clear here? I just thought of bringing up the negative perspective. Nothing wrong about doing no, sir. I will do 888 into 33 only and then I will add 8. No problem. Absolutely no problem. It might take little more time. That's it. Comfortable? Thought is clear? Thought is clear? Everyone comfortable? Making sense? Thoughts clear to all of you? Ritesh, if you didn't follow, I don't think already you have seen my first numbers lecture. You have to go back and look at the first remainders lecture. If not, for the time being, Ritesh, you follow this. Time being, you follow this. Not clear about the positive remainder, negative remainder concept. Watch the first one. All right. Watch the first one. I suggest you watch the numbers one lecture. All right. You can go to the description of this. Click on the description. It will tell you the complete playlist. So go to the playlist. Watch the first lecture. That's the first lecture on remainders where I spoke about the properties. You please do that part, Ritesh. Right. That will help. All right. That will help. Okay. Yeah. Because. That would be better. That would be ideal. So that would help all of us. Virender, for you also the same answer. Whatever I told Ritesh, I am also giving the same answer to you. Right. So do that part. That would be beneficial to all of us. Right. Because somewhere you got stumped by the negative remainder. No, you don't have to take the negative remainder. Those who didn't understand, take the positive remainder. Negative remainder, you'd be automatically able to think and apply that. Once you go through my first lecture, all right, go through the first lecture. It is already there. Go there, see the properties. You'll be able to think automatically. It comes, it comes, right? So that that should be you should be able to think. So I was bringing this perspective for the learners who are already following me, for my students who are following, so that I just wanted to tell them that hey, make the process efficient, make it efficient and faster because we are all constrained by forty minutes in CAT. We need to be mindful about the time and make the process little efficient. All right, let's not go through certain tedious process. Make it little efficient and accurate. That's a the point there. That's a the point I was trying to make. Okay, now listen to this question, my friends. Listen to this particular question. Anybody remembers what is the answer to this particular question when we divided this by 999? Anybody remembers what was the answer to this when we divided this by 999? Anybody's cache memory is sharp? When we divided this number by 999, what was the answer? Anybody has a notes? Can you put that? If you have written that in your notes, yeah, this was the answer we got. So can you put that? When we divided this particular number by 999, what was the answer? Hmm. 
Right. Very good, Sarthak. 957 is the answer. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right, Prashant. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Well, and this proves me that you are noting it down something or you calculated it mentally. That is also possible. Once you do it second time, you can calculate it mentally as well. That's also quite possible there. Fair enough. In whichever way. I'm impressed that you gave the answer either referring to your notes or calculation, whichever way it is. 957 is correct. Now listen to me. Whenever you look at this, I've come to the second point. Factor of 10 raised to power 3 minus 1. Right? You are looking at factor of 10 raised to power 3 plus or minus 1. But in this question, all it, no, it is the factor. All it, what is this? 37 is the factor of 999. What is 999? It is of this particular form. Right? It is technically of this particular form. Therefore, it is the factor of 999. Okay. So, therefore, what I do is even if I want to resolve it by 37, I will first go to its parent. The parent of 37 is, again, I will visualize what is the parent of this. I will say 999 is the parent. I will go to 999. I will solve this problem as if I am doing it for 999. What do you mean by 999? Make the groups of threes. I will attack this problem. I will come to the answer called 957. Now what I do? I take this 957. I will now divide this by 37 and tell the final answer. This manual step I will do. That is it. So therefore I said that the first stages were important and hence I said just remember the factors. When you look at 37, don't get stumped. Don't get stumped. Just look at this. Okay, I will give a classic example. To this, sir, how does it work like that? Let me give an example to you. Let me give an example to you just to illustrate my point. Okay, I said that, hey man, 70, you divide this by 4 and please tell me the remainder. We all know the answer. We all know the answer. But you said that, no sir, parent of seven, 4 is 8. Assume that parent of 4 is 8. Uh, I, I don't know about 4, sir. I know about 8. Parent of 4 is 8. I will deal with the parent. Fair enough, man. Deal with the parent. You took 70. You divided this by 8. You said that 8 is the parent of 4. Parent number of 4. Fine. You divide by this. You will say that 6 is the remainder. Okay. Now, you will say that the offspring, the child or nothing but the factor. You say that 4 is a factor of 8. What is this 4? 4 is one of the factors. But I said that, hey, man, you divide by the child. I said you divide by 4 and tell me the answer. Why you are dividing by 8? You said that, no, sir, I will deal with the parent. I don't want to deal with the child. I will deal with the parent. Deal. You dealt with 8. After dealing with 8, you said that 6 is the remainder. Now, you say that I will deal with the child. What is the child? 4 is the child. I will deal with the child. After dealing with the child, 2 is the answer. That is the answer here. 70 divided by 4, 2 is the answer. What you are saying? I don't want to deal with the child directly. I will deal with the parent first and then I will deal with the child. Which means what? I will deal with the number, which is I will deal with the divisor, which is of the form 10 raised to power n plus or minus 1. This is the parent. This is the parent. The child for this is nothing but the factor. Then I will deal with the factor of this particular number. Then I will deal with the factor of this. That's what I'm doing. So you showed me this particular number. Listen to me. You showed me this particular number. So when you showed me this particular number in place of 700, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this. All it knows some 600 digit number. You have all it, you have this particular number. I said that, hey, divide this particular fellow by, the, by 37 and tell me the remainder. You said that, no, sir, I will not divide with 37. I will deal with the parent of 37 because I have a pretty good control over the parent. Fine. So therefore, who is the parent of this fellow? Triple nine. Triple nine because 37 is the factor of that. So you dealt this fellow by triple nine and you said that the remainder has become 957. But I said that no, hey, no, I, that, 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 I didn't ask you to deal with the parent. No, you will say that now I will bring the child. I will bring the child. I will divide this by 37. I will tell the answer. Method clear. Method clear. Very simple. Yeah, very simple. People just looking at 37, they leave this question because they understand that what is this 37 doing here. Method clear, everyone. Method clear. Concept clear. I showed you this example, simple example I illustrated. I took a simple example to illustrate my point. Clear? That's how you deal with the factor. That's how you deal with the factor. Yeah, that is it. So therefore, even if it is 37, you would have dealt with triple nine and you would have done this, right? You divided by this. Okay. In the same question, instead of 37, what if it is 27? Same thing. You will again go back to 957, divide this by 27 and you will tell the remainder as simple as this. Had this question been still divided by 27, you would have done the same thing. Why? Because I told you 27 is a factor of this number. Therefore, what is the divisibility rule for 27? Groups of threes. Groups of threes. You have to make the groups of threes. So what is the divisibility rule? for 9 sum of the digits what is the what is the divisible rule for 3 power 1 sum of the digits divisibility rule for 3 power 2 that is 9 again it is sum of the digits what is the divisible rule for 3 power 3 27 that's a group of 3 and then sum make the groups of 3s and then you should add that is the difference that's why they are not taught in the school because kids will not understand sir what is this make the groups of 3s and 
So that is what it means there. Clear there? Everybody clear? Rahul, how to remember these many concepts? You have to remember, yeah, what do you mean by how to remember? You have to remember. You have to make an effort to remember. Revision. Revision. Simple. Revision. Do as many revisions as possible. As many revisions as possible. Right? I will always give the examples of the IIT or NEET students because they really struggle. NEET students, especially those who want to get into medicine. Oh my goodness. Memory is so important for these kids. Memory is so important. You ask them how many times they have gone through the NCRT book or the Akash or Allen, whatever they are part of. 20 times they would have gone through that book. Minimum. This is minimum. Go and talk to those fellows. In two years, they would have gone through each of those books 20 times. Word by word, they will know. Otherwise, they will not get into the top medical college in a government seat. Not possible getting the free seat in a top medical college. See, when they have such patience of doing 20 times, what is our problem as an adult doing some three revisions? Well, some topics need three revisions. Some topic need two revisions. Some topic need one revision. Some topic need zero revision. Some things are so simple that you don't need a revision. Some things might need one relook. Some things may, look, may need two relooks. Some things may look three low looks. You find, figure out sometimes the vocab for some people vocab is so terrible. They can't remember the words. Then it may look five relooks. Each word you may have to look five times by the time you get comfortable with it. So you got to make that plan. Yeah, you got to make that plan. Simple solutions. Well, all these things are told to you by your school teachers. I don't have to tell this. Your school teachers have already told this. Okay. Yes, guys. So you give me the answer. Now I'm looking for the final answer to this question. Answer this. Answer this. I'm looking for an answer from everyone. Answer for this everyone. <clears throat> Yeah, go ahead. I want to answer. Guys, why so many different answers? I already saw three different numbers here. One answer you give me. Good. Yeah. Okay, all right, fine. So we already know from the cache memory, we know, okay, this number when divided by 1001, you may wonder why 1001. I set up this number already in your mind in the beginning of the lecture. I already set up this. Okay, this number is a factor of 1001. Right? This number is one of the factors of 1001. I've already set up the number seven. I asked you to remember seven. There is a 13 that you may have to remember. 91, you should remember. 143, you should remember. I said that it has eight factors. Out of these eight factors, these are four prominent factors other than 1001. That's right, Cable, right? So we already figured out this solid from our cache memory. I anyway gave two or two minutes there. Even if you don't remember, you could have worked it out. From the cache memory, you know that this was 267. We already worked it out. When you deal with the parent, the remainder is 267. But I didn't say that I deal with the parent. Deal with the offspring. What is the offspring? 143. I said deal with this fellow with 143. Therefore, you now divide this fellow by 143 and you will record that particular learning. Therefore, you say that the answer is nothing but 124. 124 becomes the answer. Everyone comfortable, friends? Everyone comfortable? All of you gave some different numbers. 
Why did you goof up? I don't know. But it is clear, right? It is clear, right? Or are you guys confused on the other side? Is this clear what we are doing? Because I felt I expected right answer from each one of you out here. Is this clear or still the confusion persists? Because I got a lot different answers in between here and there. It's clear, right? Yeah. Mm. Good. Good. Yep. That is pretty much. That is pretty much. I guess uh, I think we will close here. It's a time. So we will kind of close here. Done. If somebody, somebody is like, you know, these were the lectures that I've taken in the last two days. So if you are following remainders with me or the numbers with me, this technically for CAT 21 because I'm taking some impactful questions only, impactful, impactful concepts only. I'm not doing everything in elaborative way. That I will do for CAT 22. When we do for CAT 22, all it either on the plus courses or on SC courses, that special classes and you two put together, I will try to do it in much more detail and much all the concepts, maybe all right step by step. We will have time to do from level one to level two to level three. So here I'm trying to pitch most of them here. I'm trying to impact it at this particular level out here. Okay, so yes, solid. These were the previous lectures. Solid. If you are struggling in VRC, you can take a look at that. And if you are looking at maximum minima, you can take a look at these two particular lectures, etc. Yes, on Monday we will start at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. First, we will do a special class on algebra. I'm doing it on that. So for that, you have to download the app. Download the app. And while downloading the app, if you have not downloaded yet, and if it asks for a referral code, you can ask my code, and you can download it there. So if you are liking what we are trying to do as a part of this particular series and the methodology that we are, that we are trying to discuss, you can always press the like button before you leave. If you are not liking it, leave it there. If you like it, genuinely you feel at the bottom of your heart that yes, it's making some difference to your learning, then you do that. You can share the link to your friends as well so that let them also join in, learn with us together. So yes, and if somebody is looking for the structured courses, there are some courses which are launched today and there are many more courses already running on the platform. And some of the good educators are taking these particular lectures. You can look at their credentials and you can look into that. Yep. So if somebody has not taken the CAT combat, this is one hour test. One hour test with about 30 questions. And it is good to sit with that because if you have not already, you will also get some fantastic scholarship, 100% scholarship, 75% scholarship, 50% scholarship, 25% scholarship on the whatever the subscription prices, the top 200 uh, people, those who have given the test will kind of get these scholarships. You can avail those scholarships. So give this test. This happens every Sunday at 12 p.m. This Sunday, next Sunday, next Sunday, every Sunday it happens. So if you want you can use this particular code if you have not registered for the test. While registering, if it asks for an educator code, you are free to use my educator code. Yeah, that brings to the closure of the announcements as well as the lecture. I'm hoping that you all kind of learned something. So because we are doing late in the night, so I don't want to while away your time, neither while away my time. So I'm hoping that these things are helping you. Yeah, now you can ask some questions, whatever the questions that you guys have. You can ask here. So in between Chitty or somebody were asking, trying to ask me something. If those questions still are at the back of your mind, you can ask. Yeah, and those who want to leave, good night. I will see you guys on Monday. Sunday, all of you write the test. Those who are taking CAT 21, you have to write one mock on Sunday. I told it very clearly. So one test on Sunday is a must and one in between the week if you have the time, right? It's good to have, make that time and give. But Sunday between 9 o'clock and 6 o'clock, you should take a test. You should take a two-hour test between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. You must take a test. Right. Okay. There we close. Any questions, you can type it meanwhile. No questions, then I will close the window. Yeah, you can put the questions offline as well after this video. It need not be a live comment. All right, yeah, it need not be a live comment. You can put it offline as well, right? Offline comment also you can put. So if it is something that I could answer, I will come back and answer. You don't, it's not that only online live chat only you should do. Offline also you could answer. Okay, I'm closing the window here. All right, I'm closing this particular window here. Good night to all of you. See you guys on Monday at 6 in the evening on an academy app as a free special class. Good night till I see you again.